Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, cross watchers. For those of you who are brand new to the channel, I'm so glad you landed here and we're closing out another month. Um, yeah, come into the comments, say hello, introduce yourself. Let me know where you're tuning in from. My normal routine is at the end of the day, I kind of head over to the sofa, kick my feet up. Um, go in and review comments and then upload them to the feed. I give you a proper welcome at that time. So um, I'll be happy to engage with you if you have questions or comments about the reading. So don't be shy. Um, yeah, so Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your bonus reading earlier this month. And thank you for that all, that, all your support and all you have done um, to kind of help me keep things rolling along here. Much appreciated. I'm pulling from Whispers of Love Oracle. Let's see what your message is. Card 24. Somebody else got this. I want to say it was Capricorn. Focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. Mm -hmm. Yes. She is seeing the good in the little dragon. Yes, and I do believe it's Capricorn because I said it was like a wood nymph here. Um which was the earth energy. So if you're dealing with a Capricorn or if you're here with Cap as a Capricorn cross watching, you get a little extra added confirmation. So um, we are heading into the new moon energy, new moon uh, in Virgo on the second. Um, wishing everyone in the States, by the way, a happy holiday weekend, Labor Day weekend. Hope you have a nice long weekend. Um, new moon, I'll be doing a new moon reading for the collective. That's coming up. I will be doing the September Love Tarot monthly energy update. I take the month week by week. It's a great reading if you want to get a handle on the astrology and the tarot mix. I am an astrological tarot reader, so keep your eyes open for that. That will be coming up shortly as well. Here we go. I'm going to do the main spread, give you my general impressions, and then we'll get the details from the clarifiers. And that's where we kind of get the deeper dive and the nuance um, for more, more of a magnifying glass on the storyline coming through, just so you know what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Knight of Pentacles. Opening up with an energy of maybe something coming toward you, maybe something an offer of sorts that's taking its time. What's crossing you is the tower. Okay, no panic. Um, so, yeah, when we have this kind of energy crossing us, it's, it's almost as if there's something that's about to get our attention. It's not always something that's going to be terrible, but there's something here where things are shifting. Unconscious awareness, Eight of Cups. So on some level, there may be three of pentacles in the past in our conscious awareness, nine of swords. There it is, because there's something that we're very anxious about. Um, very anxious, very worried. Eight of cups has this energy of the journey, but also maybe something leaving, something moving on us them whatever near future eight of pentacles so the three of pentacles in the past is about cooperation and sort of some buy-in where we're on the same page or maybe not eight of pentacles is now that we're uh, maybe on the same page uh, what do we need to fine tune where can we where can we work things out um, so i'm seeing this tower energy as not really what's falling apart but where are the big shifts about to happen? And that's why we get this sort of energy of, um, I can't think about, like, I don't know what's about to happen. And it can kind of go either way, okay? So don't always see the tower as something falling apart. It's the major arcana get our attention for a reason, major life shifts and things about to change. And sometimes the tower is letting us know what's not sustainable and therefore we have to make adjustments. Can we? Sure. If we focus on it, if we're both invested, three of pentacles, into making things work, we make things work. 
yeah. Knight of Pentacles and the Tower. High Priestess, Page of Wands, the world. Perfect. Because the Page of Wands is the optimism. The Page of Wands is the excitement. Change, I kind of see it as my friend. I've never been, I'm a mutable sign. No, I'm a Virgo. And the Knight of Pentacles is Virgo energy. And we are in Virgo season, just so you know. I don't see change as a problem. I kind of invite it. Um, maybe it's because I get bored easily. But I invite it. And the High Priestess here is sort of that intuitive hit that something exciting might be about to happen too. So there's a little nervous energy. And then here we have Saturn in the World card saying, yeah, we're closing out a cycle that maybe didn't serve us where the knight of pentacles is behind there is a little more mature a little more methodical a little bit more deliberate and intentional we now are going to make a plan and that shakes things up in a way because if if we don't want the instability if we don't want crap to fall apart we have to be more intentional about things and that's a lesson well learned and i do see the optimism in that and that is exciting to me and so I'm seeing this in a positive light for you here, Pisces, or whoever you are, because you may be here as a cross watcher. I'm seeing it very positively, even though it's a little unnerving, because you don't know what to expect on the other side of it. So let's see the Eight of Cups in your unconscious awareness. Eight of Pentacles. Can we work this out? King of Pentacles. Judgment. The hell we can? Of course we can. What do you mean can we work this out of course we can eight of pentacles king of pentacles ju judgment second chances yes reunions or 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 reconciliation um it does feel to me like on some level this is a turning point with that tower it's a, it represents a change we're either going to work things out make things right and 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 have forgiveness and second chances or I'm going to continue moving forward on my path, on my journey. So that's what that tower is about. And I feel that this Knight of Pentacles is your energy saying things have to kind of button up and fly right. Like we got to get a little more serious about this. And that's what I see happening. Um, I do see it, even though the Page of Wands is here. You got to have a little fun. You have to have some excitement for this change because if it's a change for the better, there's excitement in that. So let's see the three of pentacles in the past. Maybe you weren't on the same page. Let's take a look. See. Two of wands, justice. Well, that was the decision making time, right? Are 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 you uh are you picking up what I'm laying down is pretty much what I hear you saying. Two of wands. What do you want out of this? Justice. Deciding time is here. Um, and underneath is the two of cups, the relationship. Um, where do you want this to go? Whatever it's going to be. It's got to be fair. It's got to be balanced. I want harmony. I want us to, you know, sort of approach it. It's Libra energy. Justice is... is Libra rules the seventh house of relationships. And so it's about the partnership. It's about fairness. It's about balance. It's about being mutually invested to some degree. Three of Pentacles to me is always about, are, are we on the same page here? Are we cooperating? Are we co-creating this? Um, because that's where we have that basis of friendship at least. Um, and where we have the building blocks, the beginning of the building blocks to build something that can withstand the test of time. That is sustainable for the long haul. No cracks in the foundation. Okay, nine of swords in your conscious awareness. Five of swords, ace of swords, seven of swords, wow. Um, all the swords energy, your mind is racing and you are living in fear of a truth bomb here like that the, your your tower that's why the tower is crossing you because you are letting your mind run away with you worst case scenarioing your way through it 
um, and, I, and, and I'm going to go right to the Eight of Pentacles in the near future because I'm seeing you catastrophizing. So let's see the Eight of Pentacles. Hermit, Five of Wands, Eight of Cups. So you're very worried that you're going to get more of what you already got. Um, and so, yeah, I am, I'm almost seeing like it's going to take a little personal time to... Um, spend in introspection like this eight of pentacles and the hermit requires a little alone time i know that sounds a little weird but it, it's true we have the five the uh, five of wands can be conflict so we got to get away from some conflict and we've got to kind of go back to this thought about well do i really need do i is it time for me to go my own way um, I'm seeing like the Eight of Pentacles requires work. It requires focus, effort, energy, attention on, on the connection. And it seems to me like you're not sure you're going to get that. You're not sure that you're going to get this investment. And right now I'm seeing you in your conscious awareness, really, really worried and concerned that you cannot either trust this person, their intentions, their focus. Maybe this is someone who you think is very avoidant for whatever reasons. They have not given you anything to hang on to. Um, you're not sure that they are very methodical or that they're beginning with the end in mind. And so you're very worried about what you're about to learn. And in the near future, it's almost as if you're kind of looking for your own escape hatch. That's what I'm seeing, because this Eight of Cups in your unconscious awareness keeps coming back um, in the near future. Yeah. So I'm not sure I'm getting a great, a great sense of what's really happening. Um, I feel like I'm kind of coming in with what it is you're afraid of, but not really where that's coming from. So for me, the best thing to do is to look at that in the extended, what is working for your connection, what is working against it? Um, what are the opportunities that might mitigate that problem um, and support the relationship? What does this person that you're dealing with want you to know, right? What are they, what are they trying to say to you? What are they picking up from you at 5D? What vibe are they getting? Um, and let me complete the Celtic cross there in that extended, this is what I'm doing for each and every sign. So it's not just yours, but even more so for you right now, because I'm not really getting a handle very much on why you're in this state of panic, which is what I'm seeing, a lot of panic, okay? So the links to the extended are below. I'm saying links because you have a couple, three options of how to access extendeds. Take your pick. Um, and before I give you the astrology that is showing up here, um, yeah, if this is speaking to you, if you feel seen, validated, something has been confirmed for you and you have not yet done so, please subscribe to my channel. That's how I get to stay and play here <laughs> on this platform, um, which I've been here for five years. It's really tough to grow if you're not a newbie or an influencer. And so um, subscribers help and views help and the engagement helps. So um, yeah, we got a thing here. It's an energetic exchange and that is my request. Thank you very much in advance. Here we go. So the Knight of Pentacles is Virgo. We have the uh, crossing you here is the tower, which is um, Mars. Mars rules Aries. We have the high priestess is the moon. We have the page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The world card is Saturn, Aquarius and Capricorn. We've got the king of pentacles is Taurus. The uh, judgment card is Pluto, which rules Scorpio. Uh, we've got the justice card is Libra. The hermit card is Virgo. That's what I've got for you, my friends. So I'm going to head over to the extended. And the link, like I said, is below. 
And that's where we're going to kind of take it another level deeper so we can get to the bottom of this. Okay, thanks for joining me. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.